And Bobby Shemillion, let me bring this as a comparison to the case we just covered, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. And you know that we did have a verdict in that. Three and a half million people were so interested. They're watching here on this network. But here you had two different alleged victims here. And I'm going to call her a victim, a dual victim, uh, in terms of, of this woman here, in terms of Danielle Redlick. Uh, you had Amber Heard, who testified she was very, you know, animated on the stand. She was at the jury. She was talking. She was, uh, you know, crying and all. And then you had Danielle Redlick, who seemed to be just, I don't know, almost out of it in a way. Did that go along with the, the background of this information that she was a Michael Redlick's stepdaughter before she married him? I think so. I think even though there was a vast amount of evidence that her defense team had to deal with, that part of the background of their relationship, uh, Michael being 20 years her senior, her stepfather, I think muddled the water, muddied the waters enough to where the jury found that there must be reasonable doubt. Yeah, thank you both for your comments on that. I will be talking about this case for a while because she will be sentenced in August and we'll be covering that when we can. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. But on the other side, Candy the dog is seeking justice, said his, says his attorney, says his former uh, person, his best friend, that it brought suit against the person that shot Candy the dog. Well, we'll tell you the specifics on the other side of this break. Stay with us.